Welcome to another adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we're heading towards Kalang Riverside Park, where there's actually a secret. A secret that not many people know of, that is hidden somewhere in this park, which I will reveal to you at the end of the video. So stay tuned to until the end to find out what the secret is. Along my video, I'll be passing by this place, which is the secret, the mystery, the place that not many people know of at Kalang Riverside Park. So try to guess where that place is. So this is the park itself. And this park is unique because this is one of the few parks that you can actually walk towards the water's edge and actually touch the water. Most parks, um, the water's edge is actually uh, blocked by a uh, fence but here there are no fences and this bridge itself you see where the cars crossing is actually called Merdeka Bridge Merdeka in Malay means independence and that is the national stadium and the water the river you see in the, in the distance there is actually the Kalang River and I bet you that many people who are driving on that bridge doesn't even know the name of the bridge or what the bridge means but you know anyway so at this place here is where the Kalang River actually meets Rocho River which is the river here that is right in front of us and this area here is a very interesting area because the Kalang River was actually inhabited before the arrival of the British in 1819 the Orang Biduanda Kalang lived in boats in the swamps and waterways of the Kalang River until the early 19th century. They were boat dwellers who avoided the sea and restricted their activities to the river. Soon, at the, soon after the arrival of the British, the Mengong Abdul Rahman, who was governing Singapore, moved them to Pulai River in Johor. Porcelain shards dating to the late 16th and 7th, early 17th centuries were actually recovered during the dredging of the Kalang River in the late 1960s and early 1970s. This suggests that there was, a tr there was trading activity in the area around the 17th century. Following the establishment of a trading port at Singapore by the East India Company in 1819, the area around the Kalang River's mouth rapidly became part of a port town that stretched from Kampong Glam to the Kalang Bay. So this area here were all full of kampongs. Kampongs is actually a Malay word for villages. So initially, these kampongs were occupied mainly by the Bugis, who were originally from Sulawesi in present-day Indonesia and the Orang Lawut in Malay means people of the sea. They were later joined by others such as the people from Pulau Bawian and Palembang in present-day Indonesia. So the people uh, in the kampongs uh, of Bugis and Kalang were involved in shipbuilding, ship repair they also operated boat rentals and boat taxis and some worked as sailors. And these people were operating in this area until the Malay Kampongs were demolished in the early 1930s to make way for the Kalang Airport. And as I was walking around, I've noticed there are these tall spires which are actually steel pipes and they are actually quite ornate. I suspect that these pipes were not originally in this area here 
but were most probably transported into this area for uh, display purposes. And look at this. This is actually a panel, metal, and quite heavy and quite thick. I suspect this may be a wall for a container of some kind. And if you actually notice, these pipes itself are actually quite ornate and quite decorative. And they also have Maker's Mark. And look at that, this is the Maker's Mark for the pipes itself. They were actually done by CNW Walker Works from Newport, England. So these were actually imported, were made in England, then imported here. And for further investigation, I found out that these were part of the Galang Gas Works, which used to be in this area here. And so these were part of the uh, Gas Works itself that was uh, preserved. This road itself is actually called Kampong Bugis Road. And if you notice, there's actually a brick wall along the road itself and also fencing and there's also a art sculpture here of pipes this is most probably to for to represent the gas work that used to be here it used to be the Kalang gas work and the gas works itself has been demolished but what remains of the gas work nowadays is um, this art sculpture, uh, this fence, and also this pole. This is actually an old style electric pole, which looks to be made of concrete, but they are actually used, they used to be electric wires uh, going across here, out, uh, out from here. So I suspect that these uh, poles were electric poles that provided electricity to the uh, gas works itself and this fence up area goes all the way right to the end there and if you look above the fence you can see that there's not much remainder remainder of the gas works itself except for the wall a brick wall everything else has been demolished and i think this wall here is the tallest and most substantial thick wall that is probably the original wall from the gas works itself which is along Crawford Street and you can see another electric pole here very interesting so so that's what remains of the gas works itself and in the future if this place is developed all this will be gone anyway this is Crawford Street itself uh, this is we are back here at um, the Rocho River and as you can see the river itself runs all the way down that way across, across some nice condominiums and if you look up ahead uh, this, road, this is the Rocho River and then behind there are some condominiums and also further up there are HDB flats these are the HDB flats near to opposite Golden Mall, uh, Golden Mall Complex, next to Golden Mall Complex, a uh, nearby Golden Mall Complex, and then there's this bridge here. This bridge is actually called Crawford Bridge, but unfortunately I can't really find out much information about this bridge itself only thing I can notice about this bridge is that the design itself is very similar to another bridge on the Singapore River itself. It's called the Elgin Bridge, which connects North Bridge Road and South Bridge Road uh, across the Singapore River. And that bridge itself has a very similar design, and that is because that bridge and this bridge itself was designed and built by the same person which is I think TC Hood okay it, the similar architecture features are this uh, these are 
motif here of the lion and the tree, the palm tree. Okay, and of course the curved arch, three curved arches that uh, go across the bridge, which is very similar to the Elgin Bridge. And if you want to know more of the Elgin Bridge, I actually did a uh, episode on all the bridges along the Singapore River. I'll put the link in the description below if you are interested in that. Anyway, so this is the bridge with this old style uh, lamppost. And finally, another look at Rocho River. So, as we are going through, do you find out the secret place? No, you didn't notice it? You just went past? Nope, the secret place is not this building here. It's actually this grove of trees. It may look like lots of trees here, but it's actually just one tree. Okay. We have uh, this species of tropical trees where the roots will come down from the branches and into the ground itself. So it makes it look like there is a lot of trees here, but this whole place here is just one big tree and you can find this in many places in Singapore and many in Southeast Asia itself this tree is quite common but the tree itself is not the big secret not the big mystery if you look closer you'll notice there's actually a structure inside there some people say it's a house I say it's too small to be a house it's it could have been part of a house it looks more like a room. It could be have been a guard room. It could have been a storeroom. It could have been a uh, multi whatever purpose whatever purpose room it is. But it's definitely not a house or no 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 longer is a house because it's just too small. And if you actually look inside here, you can actually see all the roots coming down here. It just gives it a very eerie feel very uh, supernatural feel it feels like you know most people wouldn't dare to come close to the structure itself but for you guys I'm going in to have a closer look look at that you can see that some people did try to preserve this house minimally they actually even put in some wood uh, supports and some metal supports on to support the wall itself but as you can see Nothing much, not much left of the wall. Okay, let's just go in and have a look. Okay, this is the inner looking. So one wall, one side of the wall has totally collapsed. And there's a water pipe here. And then no roof. The roof is totally gone. So this is the inside of the place itself. Like I said, too small to be a house. But very interesting, very secret. And also I found some idols around the tree itself. Because this tree itself, um, there's a, bot, a bit of a superstition of this tree. People believe that spirits live in this type of trees. So sometimes you can even find altars at the tree, at the tree itself. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this secret, this mystery. And until now, no one has... We still do not know the purpose of that place itself. But there was a gas works previously nearby. So I suspect it could even be a guard house uh, for the works, for the gas works itself. But no one knows. And this is a mystery, a secret only for me and you guys, my subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this secret. And... We are back at the Rocho River. So, I hope you enjoyed this adventure. I surely did. I'm, I shared this interesting nugget about Singapore that not many people know about. So, I hope you enjoyed this. You know what you need to do? Please, like, share and subscribe. Ask your friends and family to do the same if you haven't done so. And the most important thing, the most, most important thing, you must join me for my next adventure. You never know where I'll be next. Thank you very much and bye-bye.